So the, the, there's lots of talk at the moment about craft, craft foods. I think a lot of the movement started probably in foods first off um, and has then kind of gone out to beer and now gin is, is absolutely everywhere. Um, <clears throat> and every bottle's got craft emblazoned all over it. And lots of the big manufacturers are also now kind of jumping on it, either by buying the craft guys up or coming out with brands with craft stuck all over the place uh, and I'm slightly cynical about what craft really means to most of them um, if you look at production of, of most beer or white spirits like gin or rum they're pretty much products you can turn on or turn off as and when you have consumer demand for them wine is so different from that and I don't think a lot of people understand that they buy wine in the same breath as they're buying gin or they buy beer and, and they they don't think about the cycle that somebody's had to go through to actually make wine so for uh, a wine like our father's the minimum time that the process could could take is maybe 15 to 20 years so you plant a vine um, it will harvest its, its first load of grapes that can be used for winemaking, maybe year three in a warm climate. Um, but the vines don't really mature until they're kind of 15, 20 years old. That's when they start producing their, their best grapes and the vine is in most balance. By which time the, the poor grower may have decided he's actually planted the wrong grapes. Um, so in Australia, for instance, a lot of guys were told to plant Chardonnay by the big companies. Um, but by the time the grapes or the vines matured, Chardonnay wasn't the fashion any longer. So it's a risky game that a lot of growers um, actually have to play. And, and then you have the vagaries of weather. You may have frost, you may have drought, you may have rain, you may have hail damage, all of which can decimate your harvest and mean that you have nothing to sell for the whole of the year or nothing, nothing to make. There's hardly anybody involved in the entire process from, from beginning to end. And the resulting product is um, it's the yield from one vineyard with one person's vision. Um, very few people involved in between it. Um, and it is a reflection of the year that it comes from as well. And if any product could be called craft, then something like our father's, or for that matter, much of wine production, um, is so much more craft than beer or, or spirits are ever likely to be. Um, and, and I'd say that would go for most wine production in that the, the scales of production and the times involved in them and the, the handcrafted nature of it just means that they are so much more artisan um, than most consumers who go into a supermarket and pick up a bottle for five quid would ever realise was the case.